What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Houston RV Show at the Demontron RV booth and we're showing you something that is super, super cool. So you all probably remember a while back I was at a big open house up in Elkhart and I showed you some European styled motorhomes that were coming to the market. Well, here's one you may have not seen yet. So this is actually one called an Access. This is made by Thor, and this is very much a very European-styled RV. You can definitely tell by the slope of the front windshield and the overall width of the unit. Now, they pack these things in super, super, super tight at these RV shows, so I'm not going to be able to get like a full front view of what it looks like for you. But I think you can kind of figure out. It even looks like they've popped the hood open a little bit right here. But this is absolutely European-inspired. Let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So as I mentioned in previous videos, we might take a glimpse at the outside of the RV, but we're really going to focus on the interiors of these RVs. So let's go ahead and hop on inside so you can see what this is all about. And this is the Access 24.1. They have this over at Demontron RV. Very cool. Has a 12-year structural warranty, 6-year lamination warranty by Thor. This does ride on a dual rear wheel chassis. Very, very cool. And I am imagining, and maybe there's paperwork inside to show, but I'm guessing that this is gonna ride off of a Ford chassis. Let's hop inside and see what it's about. Okay. So this is on a Ford chassis. I'm assuming that this is gonna be the 7.3 Godzilla, but this is a really, really cool setup up front. Have a huge screen right here for your radio, all your entertainment controls, gigantic sliding windows here on the side huge dash area i mean it's just an absolutely enormous dash area which is going to be kind of interesting because kind of the purpose of making the front end like this is so you can see closer over the front but the problem we have here is that you know with so much dash you still got to kind of lean over a bit but it is a very very cool interior and i can definitely say that it hits that european mark pretty dang well coming around this way now, the difference between this one and the one I showed you in a previous video definitely is that the interior cabinetry feels a lot more traditional in this. Very much more U.S. manufactured than European. You don't see a lot of the sloping woodworks that you saw in that unit. The interior definitely doesn't have that European vibe that the outside has. It feels a lot more traditional, class B+, class C. But yeah, the, uh, the interior is definitely not quite as European feeling. You have your sofa cabinetry up here with nice strut arms to hold it open. You have LED lighting with switches right there. Nice lighting inside the cabinetry as well. Wireless charger here. You have a giant mirror on the wall. You have some drink holders there on the side. This will fold out into a bed and from the looks of it a pretty large bed. Probably either a full or a queen size bed. You got a tremendous amount of room here especially if you flip those seats around. You can see you have a spot for a table there as well as some table legs right here. On this side, you have a thermofoil countertop, so that's probably going to be indicative kind of of the price of this unit as well, not having solid surface. Large stainless steel single basin sink. You have, looks like a two burner gas cooktop from Dometic. Blackout blinds, which I do like. You have an upgraded sprayer right here as well. Some cabinetry there, and then nice flip up here. I love it when they put up these counter extensions. Just gives you more usable room when you don't have to go in and out of the door so much. This drawer there, these are not soft closing, but they are all magnetically held in place, which is nice. I uh, don't think this is, oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is a convection, convection microwave, so that is really nice. More storage down there. And that's largely in part because you don't have a normal stove or oven. If you had an oven, you probably wouldn't have the convection microwave right there. Stepping back this way, you have your Dometic 12 volt refrigerator. Looks like we have our pricing here as well. So total amount of this unit is $174,353. This is built off of an E450 chassis. It also has side view cameras. Coming this way, this is where your bathroom's gonna be and it's gonna be interesting to see how you access it. I'm gonna walk all the way through, show you the beds real quick. So you got two good size beds here. They're separated, but you have this really cool piece that goes in the middle that you flip over that turns this into one large bed. That is very creative. And that is a giant bed now. This looks like it's a king size bed once you put the centerpiece in place. 
I actually like that a lot. No slide out back here, so you don't have to worry about that. It makes the overall coach a little more compact. You have some drawers down here. Emergency exit right here. One large window there, one large window right here. You have storage right here. Not soft closing. Then you have some storage right here as well. TV's back this way. These are all wireless battery powered controls for your lighting. Very cool. Now let's check out the bathroom. So this is magnetically latched. Oh wow, and it locks in place up here. So you have some privacy if you don't need to get into the refrigerator. But before you criticize this, think about what they're trying to accomplish here. They want something that's relatively compact and that doesn't have any slides. So you have a nice single basin sink kind of wedged there. You have a mirror right here next to it. And then you also have another mirror at the end with a medicine cabinet. This does have the shower miser. Basically, it recirculates the water so you can tell when it's hot so you're not wasting water by running it until it gets hot. Nice shower head up here, very compact. That's actually the first time I've seen that specific shower head. Spot here for your shower curtain to go around, but there's no curtain on it currently. This does have a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's a reasonable bathroom. It's a little bit, little small, but again, once you realize what you're trying to accomplish with this unit, it's not too bad. But take a look at this. When you open up the other door, it also opens up and kind of closes off the hallway area. But when it's completely open, you have a lot of room in here. It's actually a very good size bathroom area. It doesn't make any of the area here any larger, but it definitely expands the space out significantly. So you have more room all around this area. Very cool. And you still have access to your wardrobe, which is really nice. That is cool. So this is a really interesting setup. It's totally different than what I expected, but it absolutely <laughs> maximizes space by putting doors in some interesting areas, magnetically kind of expanding everything out when you want more space and then tucking it away when you don't need to use it. But that's super cool. I guess, yeah, we have the one slide right here and this one slide opens up this area pretty dang well. Overall, this is a pretty dang cool unit. Now, before I take your eyes away from what's going on, I just spotted something kind of interesting here. Now, this right here is actually a bunk. So this lowers down. I did not expect to see this. And it was it's hidden very well, actually. The only thing that gave it away to me was the fact I could see a little plastic up there and I could see the hooks right here for your ladder. But this is gonna lower down so you actually have extra sleeping accommodation up top here. And I was actually gonna go into this bit of a rant about why you might want a C-Class over this, but because of that capability there, this is just as effective and efficient space-wise as a C-Class. And that is super, super cool. I don't know where the control for that is. I'm sure it's somewhere somewhere nearby, it usually is. But yeah, I can honestly say that uh, that definitely elevates this to a whole different level in terms of functionality by having a bed that can drop down. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. This is super cool. I wish I could have lowered that to show you what it was all about, but it's okay. I think you guys can kind of envision what it's about. This thing just drops down and then you have some more sleeping accommodations up top. Now, quickly from the outside, you can see we have cameras that are actually mounted to the sides of the mirror, which is really nice. You have really good tow mirrors. The mirrors extend out so you can see a lot of everything going down the side, but you also have the cameras to assist. You have all of your storage, all your propane, your batteries, everything will be underneath here. This is where your water heater, your furnace, and your water inlet are. And back here, looks like you might have some extra storage, which you do. And this is pass-through storage. So that's a sizable space that you can also access from the back of the RV. That is really cool. Nice LED lighting. You already have the camera on the back. Again, very European look to this. And I think a lot of people would appreciate that, especially because it has the stabilization jacks on it as well. Awesome, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.